down and Andre Chinik from the Czech Republic really just blast out in the final of the men's single skulls. Germany's Marcel Hacker in lane number five. Not as quick getting out as he usually is. He's out to full length. A lane order in one, top of the pitcher, Sweden. Lane two, Norway, Olaf Tufta, the Olympic champion. Great Britain's Alan Campbell goes in lane number three. The world champion from New Zealand in four. Germany's Marcel Hacker in five. And from the Czech Republic, Andre Chinik is closest to us in lane number six. But now, Dan, Marcel Hacker really starting just to stretch out into length. It's interesting how he's changed his rowing style as well. Uh, he's, he's sitting much lower in the boat. He used to sit very tall and upright and just pump his legs, big long arms and legs. And now he's sitting lower in the boat. He's sitting lower and he's reaching more with his uh, body to get that length. And it seems to be paying off whether he can uh, sustain that. Interesting also the world champion Mahe Drysdale was just sitting back a little bit. He takes a while to get into his stride, but here he is now just beginning to move. But look at Alan Campbell go. We're talking to Alan over the last couple of days and he was talking about this final thinking he's in no better company than around him on his right the Olympic champion Olaf Tufta from Norway on his left Mahe Drysdale the defending world champion and this really is a big step because his one goal the one thing that this guy wants to do is be the Olympic champion next year so you've got to step up at the world championships nothing like doing it the year before through the 500 meter mark now great britain's alan campbell just leading but only just it's a matter of feet and inches but that's fine because this guy has really matured through the 2007 uh, world cup series through the 2007 season usually we see him blasting out and now he's just really calm and collective there he is dan first look at him he's sitting low he's also changed his uh, rowing style a bit sitting low less in the shoulders more in the legs and the lower back that kind of horizontal drive which is very very effective for him but he has matured he's listening to his coaches and he's actually really thinking about the middle part of the race not trying to get as much as he can as quickly as he can but trying to get a really good race rhythm but look at Mahe, Mahe uh, Drysdale big finish there at the end of the stroke very unusual to see Tufta up in front he's usually he comes from behind he's usually about Oh, about a length down on the on the leaders. Here he is, up in front, and is he moving? Look at this. In the yellow boat, the Olympic champion now has opened up a half a boat length lead on Alan Campbell. But Alan is long and relaxed from Great Britain in lane number three. The black boat is also the boat we need to watch. That's Mahe Drysdale. But we're looking at Olaf Tufta, the Olympic champion. Doesn't he look just great? Look how narrow the boats are. These are just fine racing machines. And you think about being up on 34, 35 strokes a minute, racing for your life in what are just such delicate crafts. He's sculling very well, Tufta. He's just moving beautifully. Very sitting, very sitting very, very low, very long forward. So at the halfway mark now, Alan Campbell from Great Britain led it through 500. He's down into third position now at the 1,000 metres. It's Norway from New Zealand, from Great Britain. He's still in a very, very good position here. Marcel Hacker back in sixth position. Incredible now. He's going to have to turn it around in the third 500. A lane order, Sweden in one, Norway, Olaf Tufta, the Olympic champion. There he is. Oh, just smooth and relaxed out to half a boat length lead over Great Britain's Alan Campbell behind him, one length down in the white boat, half a length down on Olaf Tufta, New Zealand's Mahe Drysdale in lane number four. Germany, there he is, Marcel Hacker struggling along there in lane number five. And the Czech Republic, there he is there, Andre Chinik in lane number six. Well, Chinik not out of it, but now look, Mahe Drysdale has checked that move of, uh, of Tufta, that first part of the, the race with Tufta, and Mahe Drysdale is now just lengthening out and that power he's a very tall guy he's a very big athlete so he's got long long arms and, and legs and he makes sure that he uses every bit of the stroke he finishes it out better than almost any of the other scholars well these are hallowed waters for team at new zealand back in 1972 at the munich olympics the new zealand eight won the gold medal they've been legends ever since that now and here is Mahe Drysdale going out to half a length lead now on Olaf Tufta, looking to emulate Rob Waddell, who, is, who was the Olympic champion in 2004 in this event. Now, Alan Campbell has had a steadier middle, middle thousand. I think that Tufta went out really hard to see if he could shake everybody up. He's going to be vulnerable in the last 500 uh, meters, where usually he's strong, and that's where Alan Campbell's fast finish could, uh, could have an effect. 
We're now getting into the business end of the final of the men's heavyweight single skull. And Mahe Drysdale has just opened up the field in that third 500 meters. He's opened up clear water on Norway. Olaf Tufta from Norway, the Olympic champion. Andre Chinik from the Czech Republic has moved up. We're looking at Marcel Hacker, who almost looks to be paddling here. Now, Great Britain's Alan Campbell in name number three had a great first 500. He's had a pretty steady middle thousand. We know he's got an explosive turn of speed in the closing stages. He's going to need it. It's looking very, very unlikely that he will catch Mahe Drysdale. He's got to look to the left to look at Andre Chinik from the Czech Republic in lane at number six, who's having a fabulous skull in the closing stages. Look, it's New Zealand from Olaf Tufta from Great Britain and the Czech Republic's Andre Chinik up there as well. Very good move there from Drysdale. He's completely destroyed the field. But I'm worried about Chinek, but can Campbell now hold it off? Tufta is not tiring. Campbell's got to move now. He's got about 300 metres to go. So inside the last closing stages, every single stroke is now precious. Up goes Olaf Tufta from Norway. He's out front. Look at the black boat. Mahe Drysdale on hallowed waters here at Munich. The same place where the team have done so well in the path. Out to one length sculling away from everybody else and Alan Campbell back and forth he's got 10 strokes to move into the bronze medal position but coming up to the line defending his title Mahe Drysdale from New Zealand in first place and Olaf Tufta hanging on for bronze Andre Chinik from the Czech Republic moves into silver medal and disappointing for Alan Campbell who would have felt in the first part of that race that the gold medal was on it's fourth today for Alan Fourth today for Alan, and in fact, uh, it's good that he didn't he didn't he didn't win it because I think it's going to make him so hungry for uh, for the for the Olympic uh, title. But Drysdale looks unstoppable. Drysdale was really fantastic, and Chinek's last last 500 meters was was brilliant. Two years in a row, he's been world champion. Defended again. It's three in a row for. Mar